It was loaded onto a plane doomed never to reach its destination, fell through a fireball and blew through the streets of Manhattan with millions of other documents. Yet still, this one red envelope got where it was supposed to go because it was grabbed off the street on impulse by a businessman fleeing the destruction of 9-11. The story of the Meister letter begins in Maine, where Laurie Meister's aunt invited her Los Angeles-based niece to a wedding rehearsal dinner. In its distinctive red envelope, the letter went to Portsmouth, New Hampshire, where it was postmarked September the 10th, then down to Boston, and onto one of the two Los Angeles-bound aircraft that were hijacked and flown into the Twin Towers. No one knows how else it could have got onto the streets of Lower Manhattan, where London-based businessman Raviv Stengos saw it on the ground as he was being evacuated and picked it up. He flew back to Britain, where he dug it out and posted it on to its intended recipients more than 5,000 miles away. They were, to say the least, a little startled. It was actually the first day that flights had started again, and I picked the boys up from school and came home, and there was an overnight envelope from someone I didn't know. And this was right about the time that the anthrax attacks had started. Then, of course, my curiosity got the best of me, and I said, forget about it. I'm being silly. I'll just open it up. And inside was this red envelope with a note that said, Dear Sir, Madam, I found this on the streets on September 11th in downtown Manhattan. Thought you would appreciate having it yours, Raviv Stengos, and his email address. And inside was a very festive invitation to my cousin's rehearsal dinner the following month. But the envelope itself was sort of torn and tattered and still a little damp and covered with ash. White powder. Yeah, like, it, like you know, some, it, it definitely had gone through something. And the fact that something is flimsy and, and transitory as an envelope would survive that. And, and what's always struck me is that someone who's leaving, um, you know, this, this crisis, you know, fleeing for their lives, would take the time to pick it up. And, and, and then be thoughtful and send it on its way. To return it. The Meisters donated the letter to the 9-11 Museum, believing it told a story of human resilience. Raviv Stengos told museum curators he saw it as one small gesture on that day. I think it's actually a symbol of hope. I think that, you know, it wasn't an ordinary letter or, or something. It was a, something to celebrate. And the fact that that made it through. And life goes on. You know, this, this flimsy piece of paper had survived when so many things hadn't. And I kind of feel like we also felt the responsibility that to our kids that life goes on mm -hmm. and we need to get back to that.